Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking in. I have been MIA for quite a while. I have been in a real scrapbook slump. I haven't been able to get much of anything accomplished. Doesn't stop me from making a mess. Heck, I can't even shoot this video from my normal desk space because I'm Oh, just making messes down here. But I wanted to share this very quick haul. I had to go to Michael's and do some returns today. And I just found myself wandering and there were some great deals to be found. So um, the first thing I would love to share is this was a gift from a friend of mine. It's really cute. It was handmade. She bought it for me on Etsy. Um, um is my new favorite word, apparently. So it's a pencil holder, but it's a hedgehog, and I just fell in love. Some people would say it's a porcupine. It can be either. She did get me two of these, but one fits perfectly on my desk right over here, and I love it. So um, the first thing I found in the store was in the first section when you walk in. It's the Alphabet Soup Collection, and these um, two little plaques, which is what I thought they were, are actually mailable postcards. They're regular prices, $2.99, and they were having the half price sale, plus when you work at Michael's, there's always a hidden benefit. Um, so I went ahead and got this one. This one is for my scrapbook space in the basement. I just love this. I will probably do an art journal page with this at some point. And then I got this one because I absolutely love this sentiment. You are my forever is something my husband and I used to say to each other. We have other statements that have replaced it, but this was definitely one when we were first dating is, you know, you're, you're my forever person. So I fell in love with that. Continued meandering through the store. I found the Snap album and it was only $4.99. I don't think I need... The guts. I mean, I may use these little section dividers, but these pages I will probably just use as like layering papers for a scrapbook. My intention for this album was to have it to uh, put my paper dolls in that I'm working on creating. And this is the first one that I've done. It's from The Little Mermaid. It says, Ariel, listen to me. The human world is a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they've got up there. I have a wicked glare. I apologize. But I had a lot of fun creating her. She's my first one in a very long time that I've actually done. And I have a whole bunch of new stamps that I hope to create with soon. So that was a great deal. I found this. Oh, I have my little helper today. This is um, Perfect Medium from Ranger. It was $1.99, and the thing that sold me was it works really well with pearl pigments and more. I will be YouTubing that later. I found these Heidi Swap Color Shines. I have to say, I like Heidi Swap Color Shines, but I love that she did these little mini collections. I've ended up collecting them all. Um on clearance of course for a really great price. I think this one was three fifty. And the thing that I like most about them is there's not a lot of commitment in the bottle. Uh there's enough to do like a few projects. You can put them away for a while, you can take them back out, but you're not keeping this giant bottle of stuff and these colors. This is the citron, this is the amethyst, and this I forget the name of this one is mustard. I love them. I think they're great. And this amethyst is going to go perfect for some pages that I have planned in the next couple of weeks. Um, somehow my really good paintbrushes got trashed and these were on sale. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Let's see if I move it. They are part of the Okay, not going to focus. Audit Artist Loft Roma Collection. And I think I got these for like $3 a piece. There's a detailed two and a, de and a four in the round brush. And I've been wanting to tinker with watercolors again. So, got that. This was in clearance. Now, it's not something I needed, but I loved the top note shape of it. Because I'm actually going to put it this way. And I'm going to do a Paris-themed paper doll multimedia project for somebody I know. Their daughter just redid their bedroom and they want to redo that. And then 
This is a Dilutions stamp set. Now, I don't love the alphabet. Not gonna lie. In fact, I may even not use it at all and save it to resell or give away or whatever, but... Oh, the stencil. The stencil caught my eye. And I was sucked in. Um, and had to have it. And the last thing that I picked up, because I'm all out of pink paper, which is weird for me. Um, but this was the Dreamy collection, and it's got this really pale pink, a deeper gray, and then the two blues. And I know I'm going to be doing some project with this kind of stuff, especially um, a couple of baby books or... Um, yeah, someday I'll speak properly. A couple of banners that I have to make. Last but not least... In honor of National Scrapbooking Day, which is tomorrow, I went ahead to my local CVS and picked up a bunch of new pictures, probably enough to do seven or eight pages. I have been so stuck. I hope and pray that I can just get something down on paper and tell a story and have it inspire me and get back to it. And if it does, I promise I'll come back and share it. So maybe by the weekend I'll have a second video. That's all I got. I hope that the sun is shining wherever you are, wherever you are is warm, which would be very different from where I am. I'm in New England and it's been cold and wet and rainy and in the low 40s almost all week. So, brr. Enough on this end. I hope that you're having a great day and have a wonderful weekend and happy Mother's Day to all of them. YouTube land that happens to be moms. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit subscribe down below. Thanks so much. Bye.